Hi everyone, thank you for watching. A big thank you to all my Instagram subscribers or supporters that have followed me onto YouTube. This reading is for Sagittarius. Meditation brings answers. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of July 2018. Always remember, general readings may or may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and never force a message to apply. Let's get started, Sagittarius. Let's see what the month of July has in store for you. <laughs> Meditation brings answers again. So, very important message for you. One more card, please. Communicate clearly. So, perhaps you are not in communication with someone and you've been trying to figure out how you can start your communication. You've been wanting to communicate with someone that you haven't talked to recently or lately. If you're trying to figure out how to reach out to somebody, how to start that conversation, take the time to meditate. Take the time to connect with your angels, with your spirit guides. Ask them for answers. Ask them for guidance, for strength and support. Ask Archangel Gabriel to help you communicate clearly. He is the messenger Archangel. He can help you communicate. I just noticed one of my cards in reverse, so I had to fix that because none of my cards are in reverse in my deck. Okay, so here we go for Sagittarius. Okay. Leo just had that one. What's going on with Libra? Okay, meditation brings answers. Take the time to really think about what you want to do. We've got a lot of emotions here. Are you dealing with a water sign? Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, and Knight of Cups. So, have you been really emotional lately about what you want to do when you want to move forward? Has somebody made an offer to you about moving forward that has you feeling a bit emotional? You know that there's a different path that you want to take. You want to move forward in a much better way, on to bigger and better. Taking a spiritual journey, taking the time to meditate and really think about where you want to move forward in. If someone's made a love offer or you've been thinking of making a love offer for someone, it has you feeling really emotional, especially if you have water in your chart. And because this is cancer season, we're all a little more emotional than usual. Meditation never hurts, it only helps. Get in tune. Be in tune with your inner self. One more card, please. Okay, well, fine. Two more cards. <laughs> I'll put this one over here. Okay, so here it is. Meditation brings answers. There is something that you've been thinking about for some time, trying to figure out a next step in your life that you want to take. Perhaps there's been some issues where there hasn't been any communication with someone for some time, and it's weighed heavily on you. You want to communicate with this person. You want to take that leap of faith, and hopefully they communicate back to you. But you're really stuck in your head about this. You're afraid that if you do reach out to them, and you do try to start the communication, start this process of communication, communicating again you're afraid that it's only going to continue this heavy weight you're feeling if you're thinking of defending yourself in whatever stance you decided to take why you haven't been talking to a person remember if you approach them in this defensive manner you won't get anywhere with them would you like it if after months of not talking to someone, 
they approached you the very first time, their very first opportunity to communicate? Would you want them to come at you in a defensive way? No, I'm sure you've got plenty you wanna say. I'm sure you've been holding on to a lot that has weighed on you because you have not had a chance to speak your truth. There is more than one way to skin a cat, Sagittarius. So if you want answers, meditate, figure out your best approach, surrender. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you, you're not allowed to be defensive because maybe that other person's a jerk. Maybe that other person's an asshole. I'm not saying submit to that asshole tendency. I'm saying if you want clear communication, the best way to communicate is to be at peace with yourself and be at peace with whatever results come from communicating clearly. There are things you might not be aware of as to why the communication stopped. You have two, I'm sorry, you have three eights. One, two, three. Paired with the Fool card. Maybe for some time you've been pretty stubborn and you've been the one to say, hell no, I'm not gonna communicate. They did me wrong. They're the Fool. They're the one that doesn't wanna come into the picture. They're the ones that walked away. They're the ones that left me hanging. Why the fuck should I be the one to communicate? It's not about them, Sagittarius. If you're the one that's feeling this burden, this weight stuck in your head, feeling almost as though you can't walk away from the situation, like if it's been months that you people haven't spoken and it still weighs heavily on you, it's not about hurting that person. It's not about forgiving them. It's about you laying down these ten of wands it's about you getting out of your head do right by you Sagittarius if you've got something to say say it you don't need to be defensive but do what's right find your balance speak your truth know your truth cut away the bullshit find your inner strength because you know you have it You want to be stubborn and petty and say, fuck that, I ain't going to communicate. Fuck them. They did this. They did that. Blah, 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 blah. No more pettiness. Let it go. The longer you hold on to that mentality, the longer you'll be stuck like this. And every single partnership or relationship that comes afterwards is going to feel it. So say you and your sibling, cousin, mom, dad, aunt, ex, whoever, coworker. Maybe you guys haven't been speaking. Maybe you guys have been in the outs. Maybe you've seen each other walking down the street and you straight up ignore each other. Why are you still holding on to that? Does it make you feel better? Why bring on that negativity onto the next relationship? Do yourself a favor. Take the blinders off. Cut this ties off of you. Do what's right by you. Speak your truth. Know your truth. Stand your ground. Take that leap of faith. Be strong enough to release yourself from it because I bet you there are things that you are not aware of as to why this person isn't talking to you or hasn't spoken to you. And that's okay. They can have their reasons all they want. But what's the end game here? What's the end game here, Sagittarius? What's the end game? Somebody played you and now they got you stuck in your head? Or maybe you're thinking, I'm going to play them because they did all this shit to me. What's the end game? When is enough going to be enough? The sun card is in reverse, tells me that this not only weighs on you, burdens you, but it's taken up so much mental space 
because it seems as though this is all you can really think about at times. You can't even enjoy other aspects of your life. Take the time to meditate, communicate clearly. Holding on to those energies is toxic. You're going to end up being bound to these toxic energies. There's a lot of wands here. A lot of fiery, passionate anger. But just as much as you want to say shit to them, they got you stuck in your head. And you're allowing it. It's time to cut away from these ties. It's time to cut away from it. It's doing you no good, Sagittarius. No good whatsoever. What's the end game? Really, really think about it. What's the point? What are your goals? Hmm? Was this a relationship you put in a lot of work in and it didn't pay out, so now you're pissed? Do you want the partnership back? Why are you so defensive if you do? You think all this defensiveness is going to get your partner back? You think they're going to be running back to you? Oh, I know they're mad at me. I know they love me. They're telling me off, cussing me out, telling me all this shit. I know I pissed them off, but let me take that leap of faith with them. You think they're really going to do that, Sagittarius? Come on now. Get out of your head. You've been stuck in this. Look at that. Twice the strength. You can do this. You can take yourself away from this toxic mental energy. Ten of Wands twice. Don't tell me this shit isn't affecting you, Sagittarius. Let me tell you. Don't tell me that. To have the Ten of Wands twice and the Strength card twice only tells me that you are strong enough to carry double the burden. Why, Sagittarius, why? What do you get out of it? Somebody paying you a million bucks? You sadist? You love carrying the weight of other people? Approach things with love, not like the Queen of Swords. Anybody that follows me knows that is my cut a bitch card. That is the harshest queen of them all. Don't give a shit. Don't come at me. This is like, you want to fight? Come at me. We're, we're in for it. That is exactly how you've been approaching the situation. And instead of it freeing you, it's burdening you. Because the more you're simmering in that toxicity, that pettiness, the heavier it is on you. The heavier the burden, the stronger you need to be. And if you're strong enough to carry these types of burdens, then you're strong enough to walk away from this bullshit. Say your piece, do what you gotta do, release yourself. Release yourself victoriously, please. You mad because something fell apart? The moon again. I'm going to tell you, Sagittarius, there is shit here you are not aware of. There is shit here you don't know. There are secrets that have been kept from you. And maybe you are aware of certain things that have been kept from you, but there are other things that you are not aware of that has caused your worth, your earth to feel as though it's collapsed. Your world has shattered. This is for someone who has a relationship. Let me correct that who no longer has a relationship with someone that they used to have. Does it have to be love? Say you and your cousin fought one night, y'all went out. You and a coworker that used to be tight, no longer tight. You were seeing someone all of a sudden up and left because there's shit you weren't aware of and they didn't want to tell you. Whether they were embarrassed, whether they were ashamed, there are things you don't know of here. Doesn't mean it's bad or it's negative. 
yes, I don't recommend hiding things from people. That is lie by omission. That is deception. This could be as simple as someone still lives with their mama and they don't want you to know. Someone just lost their job. Someone's got to pay up their whole entire check to child support and how the hell are they going to take you out? There are things that you are not aware of here that have caused your world to shake up. Calm down before you address them. Speak your truth, know your truth. Let that defensiveness come out when it needs to. Don't start like that because once you get this Queen of Swords side of you going, forget it. No one's a match for you, but you'll also get nowhere fast. So if you're going to end your conversation with this person as this queen of swords, who's going to cut them to shreds, you better say exactly what needs to be said and be ready to release it. Don't continue harboring that kind of toxicity, that kind of negativity. Be strong enough to say your peace and walk away. Say your peace, forgive, heal, Get back together, whatever it is that needs to happen. Take the time to go within, meditate, really think about what it is you want out of this. Like I said, what's your end game, Sagittarius? What do you want out of this? You know you're happy you're not happy with the way things are. So what are you gonna do about it? Sagittarius, that was your reading for the month of July 2018. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will be posting up the love reading soon. Um, and if you're not already following me on Instagram, you can find me there, instagram.com slash Virgo Angel Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. For personal reading, you can email me at virgoangeltarot at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. And I hope next month is a better month. And we'll see you for the love reading. Hopefully you can join us on Instagram as I do a live weekly reading there. Talk to you later, Sagittarius. Bye.